Hi, this is Sebastian Katz from Audio Bro. In this video, I'm going to do a brief overview of some of the new features that we've added to LA Scoring Strings 2.5, starting with instruments. There's a whole new articulation with 2.5, and that's Marcato. If you've never heard of Marcato before, it literally means marked. It can also mean emphasized, articulated, accented. It's when you want a note or set of notes to have a little extra oomph on the attack. Now, the playing style can be a bit different between modern, classical, and jazz music, but the premise is the same across all styles. Let me open up one of these patches. You'll see that we've done them for all the instruments in the library. First chairs, divisi sections, and full section mixes. We have a whole video that's dedicated to explaining this page, but a couple of very brief notes. First of all, this is a sustain patch, meaning the notes will hold out as long as you hold the keys, but it is also velocity sensitive for dynamics, and that's something that we haven't done before. Previously, as you likely know, all our long articulations like legato use the mod wheel for dynamics and the short articulations like spiccato or staccato use the velocity of your key strike as the dynamic. Here we actually have a sustain patch that is responding to your key velocity. Second, you may want more or less of that initial marcato attack, and we've built a big control right in the center of this script to do exactly that. You can get less or more or you can set it to our default, which is 12 o'clock. This is helpful, and in addition to being able to just dial this into your taste, you can actually automate this control with either MIDI or host automation. As you're looking at this new script, you may have noticed another new set of controls. There's a color menu and an extra little blue button here. And that actually has nothing to do with Marcato. You'll find that across the entire library. Let me switch over to a legato patch. Here you go, you find the same color menu and on off button. What we've done is allow you to load any of our staging color presets directly from the instrument level. This was previously something that you had to do in ARC, and now you can do it with or without ARC. So it's very simple just to choose any color that you want, and then you can turn that on or off with this little blue button you'll notice the EQ is turning on and off, because when you turn color on, we turn the stock EQ off. You can also automate this little blue button with MIDI or host automation, which means you can turn color on and off directly from your host sequencer or with your MIDI controller. Now, we don't recommend doing this during held notes, but when you're not holding a note, it's perfectly fine to automate. This bridges into the next new feature. If you look down in the basic presets section at the bottom, there's a new profile called the Sordinoizer. And what this does is bring the Sordino sound, the Consordino sound that you would find in our Sordino sustains and also our last LS, our Legato Sordino library. It brings that sound to all the other articulations that didn't previously have that. And that includes first chairs. We've never had Sordino first chairs in the library, and now all you need to do is turn on the Sordinoizer, and again, hit that blue button. Since you can automate this blue button, you can turn Sordino on or off directly in your sequence. One additional thing to note is if we have a recorded version of Sordino, meaning if there's a Sordino sustain, for an instrument, like cellos A, and you look at cellos A legato, you'll find that the Sordinoizer preset is actually not there, and that's because we have a recorded version where you don't need a color preset to do it. However, if there isn't a recorded version like a legato tremolo, for instance, you will, of course, find the Sordinoizer profile available. And this you can do from ARC as well in batch on your template, but like I said, you can also use this new color menu on the instrument level. And just to show you, it is in fact on the art page as well. It's just on the other side over here. And it's even on harmonic scripts. 
So you'll find it pretty much everywhere. The only place you won't find it is on these ensemble patches, which are really our legacy 1.5 patches that haven't been updated. Okay, moving on to one more minor little thing on the art script. Down at the bottom right, you'll now find an art CC control. Basically, what this allows you to do is use a different MIDI CC to turn the art rhythm pattern on or off. By default, this has always been the sustain pedal on LA scoring strings. But a few of you have noticed and written us on the forums that if you layer a spiccato patch and a legato patch and you want to play them both together, that if you hold the sustain pedal, you're going to get a rhythmic playback, which you may not want. So now, in cases like that, you can just simply drag this control to a different CC and you won't have that interference. You can also just have added flexibility of using a different MIDI CC from your DAW to control art. Okay, let's move over to ARC. So if we switch over to the Maltese folder, there's a bunch of new stuff here, but we're going to start just simply with the ARC starter. As you know, when you're starting an ARC template, this is usually the first thing you want to load. Starting on the key switch page, you'll find that there are now four additional MIDI CCs available to chase for your ARC key switches. Some of you have requested this, and it really does help if you're somebody who chases a lot of different MIDI controller messages. Second, if I turn this key switch page on, you'll notice there's now a highlight on the C key. And this is another new feature. ARC will now show you the active key for each one of your sets as you play them. If I play this right now, you're not going to see anything happen. And that's because we don't have any articulations defined. And ARC knows better than to switch to keys that are empty. But if we put in a couple articulations, you'll see that when I play the keys on the keyboard, the highlight moves around. And this is just a helpful little visual reference for you when you're key switching, or when you're setting up key switches so that you can see what you're working with. Okay, so moving on. Next, for the stage and color page, there are a few important things to note. Of course, the Sordinoizer profile I showed you earlier is available here as well. That means you can send it to your instruments in batch but actually every single preset across the stage and color library has been completely reprogrammed. We found several ways to improve our core color technology, but the only way to put that into practice was to reprogram every preset for every instrument in the library. We think you'll hear a noticeable difference between the 1.0 version of our stage color technology and the version that's here in 2.5. Next, if you've been working with Stage and Color a lot, you may notice when you load some of your presets that the knob values are a little different. There are two reasons for this. One is that we have reprogrammed these, but the main difference is that we've scaled the knob values. What this allows you to do is push dry, color, and reverb up beyond the levels they were at in the previous version. So now, a value of 80 on any of these knobs is equivalent to being all the way up in the previous version. Why might you want to do that? Well, there are certain, certain color profiles. A good example might be Salpant, which is naturally a softer sounding articulation. But in a case of Salpant, you may actually want to artificially boost the volume to match some of your other dynamics. So in order to do that, you can push up color beyond 80. In addition, for presets that include reverb, if you want more reverb than we previously were able to give you, pushing values beyond 80 will do the same. Everything else is roughly the same. There are some little bug improvements, but that's mostly the changes for stage and color. Finally, the EQ controls in ARC now work universally. And what does that mean? Well, if we put an instrument into our multi 
and I'll just hide the keyboard so that you can see more of that instrument. And I'll just make sure this reflects reality. Previously, if you wanted to change this EQ button here from ARC, you could do that from the Real Legato page. or the EQ page. However, there's also an EQ control on the art page. And previously this would only work with the art script, but if you happen to be on this page and you just want to turn EQ off and on, you can now do it. We've included a lot of new multis with LAST 2.5. For instance, there's a whole folder of template starters which gets you up and running with a full template of LA scoring strings very, very fast. There's also a special multis folder which has some interesting combinations and auto arranger multis available. But we'll go over all of this in another video. Okay, so those are the core new features in LA scoring strings 2.5. We really hope you guys enjoy this update, and thanks for watching.